Thor Love and Thunder, the mighty Thor, Jane Foster. Quick review, let's go. Geeks was popping. I finally get into the Thor Love and Thunder Korg build a figure wave. Starting out with a Jane Foster Mighty Thor. Let's go ahead and get her out of that box. Jane Foster's life is forever changed when she mysteriously comes to possess the Hammer Mjolnir and the power of the Mighty Thor. Oh my, that is a snazzy backdrop. She ships with Mjolnir, looks like the cracked up version. She has her helmeted head, she has an unhelmeted head, and the bath piece. Accessories! I think they kind of nailed it. It looks like her. At first glance you might say it doesn't, but when you really stare, I think they nailed it. But again, I haven't seen her unhelmeted face since she put on all the weight, so they may have nailed it even more than I'm suspecting. Uh, her armor is fantastic. That looks really good. Check out those guns. Now this figure's gorgeous. Oh, pinless elbows, holy moly. Almost missed that. Do we, <gasps> pinless legs. Oh, this is my favorite female action figure of 2022. Cape is stiff rubber. Oh, but she looks good. Hair is soft enough to move so you can clear the shoulders. Back is soft too. Oh yeah, all right. Let's switch that head. Oh yeah, buddy. That is crisp. That is crisp. That's that meaty joint right there. All right, so this is our first Jane Foster Thor. I know they did a comic version before. It was in, uh, I think it was that Comic-Con exclusive set, but this is the MCU version. And well, I guess we wouldn't get one before because she hasn't appeared in the MCU yet, so that makes sense. All right, let's take a moment to bask in all of her pinless, well-sculpted, well-painted glory. Ass Queen Slay. All right, you get 360 on the head. Tilt left. Tilt right. Ooh, good looking down. Good looking up. Arms get about parallel to the shoulder. Hug. This place wide, no trouble with HR. Full 360. Those big guns give you a 360 also. Nothing at the forearm. You can get 360 at the wrist. Now she's got a little piece of her wrist guard that comes out that'll stop you from getting the full range. So you have to turn it to the cut and see what we get there. Repulsor Blast weak. Hold on, let me try it. another angle. Yeah, Repulsor Blast weak. Kiss the ring works. How about those biceps? You're giving us these double joints, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Good range. Here, abdominal rocker. Oh wow, she can really lean with it. Really rock with it. Good range going all around. Crunch. Limbo ready. And her joints are very smooth. No intermittent clicks, but not loose. Split is cool. You don't get 360 at the waist, or do you? You get it at that torso joint. Let me try and hold it here. Uh, feels, you know, it moves a little bit. Don't know why, but it doesn't give you 360. You do get 360 at the thigh though. Nothing at the calf. 
360 at the foot. Kick range good. Bend over superb. Ah, look at the details on her skirt. Man, this figure is freaking lovely. They even have carvings and sculpt in the back of her armor. Wrist armor is detailed as well. Look at that. With a nice silver trim. Oh, this is Hasbro at its this is Hasbro at its finest. Double joint to pinless knee, giving that exact give me that Asgardian glory. Goddess Prancer. Goddess Dancer. And those feet they rock. Look at the detail in the armor on her knees, the wings on her feet, the bands on her shoes. Oh, love this figure. How tall is she? A little bit under six inches. She's between five and three quarters and six inches. And there she is stacked up against some other MCU females. I wish they had defined the cracks more here. I think maybe if I get an art pen, I'll be able to fill those cracks in. My thoughts, almost perfect. This is one of my top figures of 2022 so far. I think going forward that this defines what a female figure should be coming from Hasbro. It's definitely not perfect, but it has nothing to do with the design. It's more about the character's costume. You can't get the wrist articulation because of her wrist armor, but not every female character is going to have wrist armor, so I can't really say that that's going to be a problem across the board. So she's pretty close to perfect, man. I love it. The detail that went into her outfit is phenomenal. The articulation is there. The pinless joints, the head sculpt. I mean, there's not much more you can ask for, but I could always be wrong. Make sure to sign up in the comments. Let me know what you think of this figure. On your way out, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Share a link to the channel with your friends. Turn on notifications so you know when I post more videos. Thanks for all the support. Comment, comment, comment. I'll respond as quick as I can. Till next time, the mighty Thor is out of here.